Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy, 7th Street. Welcome back to another classic Call of Duty commentary. Today, I played some Modern Warfare 2, and what better map to play than Terminal? We're playing some Team Deathmatch with the ACR. We're using Hardline Pro, some Claymores, and... I had an okay time. I mean, there was some struggles, there was some lag, there was some servers that disconnected, but uh, for the most part, I didn't run into any hackers, unless I'm hacking right here with the double kill with a TMP with some bullets to spare. That's pretty rare without having stopping power. Anyways, so I'm hoping that Modern Warfare is closer to Modern Warfare 2 than any other COD. Maybe Modern Warfare 3 just because Modern Warfare 3 was okay, but I mean, looking back on it, it was a great game compared to what they came out on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but I I think it's gotta be closer to Ghost than anything. Oh my God, did you see what just happened right here? So I destroyed this guy with a nice drop shot, and by luck, he hits those barrels. Those damn barrels! T PewDiePie was right, dude. Like, wow. Uh, that's my kill streak right there. I mean, it's only four kill streaks. I mean, you know, I went on better, faster kill streaks, as you guys may uh, know. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Ghost wasn't even that bad of a game. It was just kind of like COD World War Two in a sense, where it launched, but. Like, the content wasn't there or the vision wasn't completed. I'm not exactly sure uh, if it was, like, half-assed or what not, but I, I mean, I just want it to be a solid COD. I feel like Black Ops 3 was the last solid one, and even though it had boost jumping, it was an okay, decent game. So, uh, wow. I'm kind of scared right here because I want to go back into the plane, but... Those barrels triggered me, and I see these barrels on the on the floor right here, so I'm a, a, a little nervous. Uh, but, <laughs> anyways, uh, I, I take some damage. I don't know who. I think this guy kills me, so you know I got some aerial support. I think he noob tubes me, to be honest. And that's one little tip that I can give. I guess it's irrelevant now because what Modern Warfare is not gonna have a mini map. But sometimes I press start <laughs> and I double check to see that there's no barrels. I press start just to see kind of where the people are on the minimap because you can only tell so much when it's you know small and you get the full view when you press start here so that's a pro tip and trick if you guys care about call of duty tips and tricks in 2019 i got him and i'm your number one source so uh, anyways what are the odds of terminal coming back to modern warfare i would say 100 percent odds like if they bring back some maps, let me know. What, oh, do you hear that? My socks are dried. A lot of people ask me, "White boy, do you?" I still wear new socks. I say no, only on special occasions. And I will say this: I have a lot of slightly used socks. And this sniper right here, I remember this in game. He triggers me. Look at this kill cam. He, look at look at him go. Tactically, he knows I'm there. Wow, good move, good move. And he, he's got to get me a, a little bit later in this game as well. But you know what map I want to see come back? And maybe, just maybe for the 10v10 slash 20v20 mode, and this will be crazy. But what about the map Skid Row on 20v20? It was chaotic in Ground War, and I kind of miss now. I really can't go back into Ground War. What we should do, oh my god, I tried to panic claim more him. What am I thinking? What we should do as a community is have a day that we all agree on and we go back to Modern Warfare 2. And maybe next month we do Black Ops 1. And then the next month we do Modern Warfare 3 or whatever it is. Maybe we can go in chronological order and that would be easiest to do. I think that's a pretty, look at this sniper, dude. That would be a pretty funny uh, or fun idea. Got painkiller. Not proud of it. Um, should edit this part out, but no, it's okay. Whatever. Um, these noob tubers, dude. These. So the thing about Modern Warfare 2 is they never patched it. 
It would have been such, like, I say Modern Warfare 2 is the best Call of Duty game, but it's also the worst Call of Duty game, because they never really went back and fixed anything. But the problem nowadays is that they fix it too often, and it, it, it's always changing based on, like, pro players' opinions, and, it, like, 99.999 and the .101% uh, of matches and kills and experience is not in competitive games, it's in public games. Now I'm kind of trolling here, I'm trying to get like a final 360 uh, uh, kill cam here with, with my Predator missile and maybe I was a little frustrated that I never got to like continue a streak. But hey, uh, three Predator missiles ain't bad. Predator missile was a fun kill streak. Like I, I, I really, I didn't see this on the um, the the leaked or not leaked because they had the multiplayer reveal or whatever. But they didn't have the Reaper kill streak from Modern Warfare Three or or the Lodestar. I think Lodestar was for sure in Black Ops Two. But that was such a fun kill streak. I hope they consider bringing that back. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching all my Modern Warfare 2 gameplay commentary in 2019. I'm White Boy 7th Street, and I have the fastest nuke. You think I wasn't going to say it? <laughs>